Hey, what's up, guys? I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I'm coming. I'm coming to you live from Thailand, Phuket. I'm currently here, but let's get into the today, today's video. So, uh, the subject for today's video is international versus South Africa e-commerce and how to receive international payments. So, the biggest difference uh, for me is obviously the cost to register each business. Uh, in South Africa, it's fairly cheap to register a business. You can get it at, for like 150 rand, maybe a bit a uh, bit higher. CIPC.co.za. Uh, you can, if you want to register an American business, however, you will have to use this company, jump up to jumps.filings.com. Uh, just go over to well, pricing, or you can just uh, get started. Uh, start over. Okay, so you definitely want to have a limited live LLC in America. You can. Uh, every state has different tax benefits. Uh, ours personally are, is in Delaware. Uh, but I know Wyoming is also pretty good, so definitely go and check it out. And there will be a link in the description uh, of Jumpstart Filings as well. If you have an American business, uh, one of the cool things is well, you'll get all these things. Uh, but you'll get an American business uh, bank account, Mercury. And if you, you can also use Jumpstart Filings to get a credit card, a US credit card. There's not a lot of US credit card companies that will accept you since you are not a US citizen. Uh, but if you have an ITIN, I, I believe it stands for uh, uh, Tax Identification Number, there we go. Um, if you have one of those, you can actually get a credit card at this specific bank, Capital One. And let me just quickly show you uh, why it might be a good idea. Uh, obviously, it depends on how much you spend, but if it, like the first few ones, um, I'll show you. Like you can literally, well, these, if you spend more than four thousand five hundred dollars in three months just imagine all your expenses um, all your ads products every single thing but you can always just get a cheaper one like this one depends on how big your business is this one's only three thousand but you can check around here yeah, there's lots of different options but some of these have travel rewards and most of the well everyone has some type of rewards like this one's thousand dollars back but you can just go and check it out uh, some of these uh, you can actually basically just start flying 100% for free just by paying the money you would have had paid anyway but now you can just use a card uh, of Capital One and actually get rewarded for spending money so it's free you'll get free travel points free bonuses but that's if you have a US business so to get back to today's topic uh, the thing is I would still always recommend anyone to start in South Africa first if they are from South Africa because uh, you have not a lot of competition here at all since uh, dropshipping or e-commerce is a very new thing. Uh, if, you, if you go to America, it is every single person that is big in this industry is targeting America or all their first world, uh, first world nations like well, top five that we top five that we target: America, UK, Australia, New Zealand, and Canada. But obviously, every single one is competing. Uh, well in those countries so that's that may not be the best idea to start out there right away your advertising cost is also a lot higher if you target uh, those uh, top five countries compared to South Africa it's like less than half I can't remember the exact uh, CPC or cost per click and if you're on TikTok ads in South Africa I will be creating a video about that so I can I, I got you guys a connection I will basically just give you a global ad agency account so just check one of the next videos um, so get to get back to this point competition in South Africa. There's not a lot of competition um, America all the competition Advertising costs a lot higher in America a lot cheaper in South Africa. So you get more value you can you can Your ad will be shown to more people compared to showing it in America if you pay the exact same but obviously Scalability is where the difference comes in In South Africa you if you just start in South Africa you won't be able to run these ridiculously high numbers, but that's not everyone's goal, which is fine as well. You can um, gr gr you can create a great income and f in South Africa by selling products. And then what I would do is I would take some of that profit and just reinvest it into an American business where you have the scalability option. But for, to target America, I'd highly recommend that you have a lot higher uh, and bigger budgets. And even if you have a big budget, I would recommend to first start in South Africa, understand the business, business and then later on, uh, going on to America. So obviously you don't want to compete with every single one that's big in the game already. And um, yeah, so that's what I would recommend, guys. I hope you are having a fantastic day. Please let me know in the comments if you'd like to, uh, well, any type of video ideas. 
I'd love to create a few. I even got got this mic just for the videos. So um, just let me know, and I hope you have a wonderful day. And um, thank you for watching.